Hello everyone, this is Nelson TV of Denmark. Welcome back to our channel. This is Nelson TV 2 of Denmark, guys. And once again, we are going to... Dun, 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 dun. Konnichiwa. Yes, guys, we are going to the land of the rising sun, Japan, once again, and we are going to watch this video highway through a building story. Uh -huh. Only in Japan. And this is interesting. The owner of this video is um, Wai Ryo. Wow. Only in Japan. And this is in Osaka's Gate tower building is an amazing sight to see because how well should i put it? okay okay but anyway this is an amazing video he said uh, he showed it to us so we'll see mm -hmm. so let's get started Quite often when you see something unbelievable on the internet, you don't know whether or not it's fake or real. Behind me is Osaka's Gate Tower building, and believe me, it's real. That's right, going through that building is a highway. Osaka is Japan's second largest metropolitan area located in the heart of the Kansai region. Not far from Osaka Station lies one of the world's most peculiar buildings. From above, it's easy to see why. But from building level, the gate tower building is just ridiculous. There's a story behind this building, but before I get into that, I wanted to go inside the TKP gate tower building and find out what exactly is on those middle floors. I got permission from the building owner to give you a look around. First, I had to pin down which floors the highway was located. But I quickly found out those floors simply don't exist. Oh. Oh. Five, six, and seven. One, two, three, four. The elevator simply doesn't stop on the highway level. In the lobby, you can see it listed though. Floors five, six, and seven are the Hanshin Expressway. Okay. But the eighth floor is a conference room, so I asked to take a look from up there. The elevator it's, like, wait, it's like a bit scary, you know, train. I thought there might be a bit of noise. So you know, yeah. It's and not that good for conference. Yeah, conference and plus that suddenly the train, uh, isn't it? It's not train. A railway. It's, it's car. Cars. Isn't it? Isn't it cars? It's not the... Me above the highway. No, yeah. sorry. You can cars. see the cars go straight through the building. I hope it was out holding yeah, yeah. the train. Yeah. <laughs> From an adjacent building, you can see that the expressway curves below my position on the 8th floor. It never actually touches the building. It passes through, suspended on a bridge surrounded by a tunnel to prevent noise and vibrations to the surrounding oh. floors. On the 5th to 7th floors is a stairwell, elevator, and some machinery. By the way, the highway is the legal tenant of floors 5 through 7. About 1,500 meters away is Osaka's famous Umeda Sky Building, with the highest escalators in the world. From there, you get an amazing... <laughs> it's not so scary, the escalator. <laughs> yeah. It's, imagine, wait, I have to ask uh, the escalator. About 1,500 meters away is Osaka's famous Umeda Sky Building. Yeah, oh my with god. Is it scary? Who, who, who dares to walk there? I mean, take this escalator. I'm scared of heights. I don't know what could happen. What yeah, could possibly still, go wrong? Yeah, but still, <laughs> yeah, there's, there's nothing. I'm sure it's safe. There's, it's safe, but still, I can't, I, I can't uh, take this uh, because I'm what scared you, of heights. Is it kind of outside also? It looks like so outside. What about wind and everything? Yeah. And rain. Yeah. The highest escalators in the world. From there, you get an amazing view of the yeah. city and the gate tower building. You're probably wondering why the Hanshin Expressway is passing through the building, right? It's basically a land rights dispute with a sort of happy ending. The property was owned by a business since the early Meiji era, but when the business declined, so did the buildings. The area was approved to be redeveloped by the government in 1983, but the property holder refused to give up the land, even though the new building permits had been refused. 
They negotiated for five years, and this was the compromise. <laughs> oh, interesting. Yeah, interesting. Now it's part of Osaka. But you know, this is also not. I mean, it's like a, a unique uh, architecture. Yeah, but yeah, who will make a building in through a highway? Yeah, or? yeah. Yeah. Only in Japan. Only in Japan, yeah. I guess. Yeah. Osaka's fast-growing skyline. Seen it, been in it, and now it's time to drive through it in a 1996 Lotus 7. We got on the Hanshin Expressway one stop from the Gate Tower building and the Umeda exit. Let's go! It's a three kilometer drive. It's like a bunch of just. <laughs> this is the same thing. Tracks is also passing by. <laughs> yeah. It's a very. You know, it was three floors yeah. on the elevator, so. <laughs> <laughs> long to arrive. Felt like we were driving inside of a video game to complete a mission. Was there anything <laughs> special about driving through a building like this? Interesting. When you do it in a Lotus 7, you bet there is. In reality, it's just a tunnel for drivers to pass through, but the visual of it all is just super cool. And now I can check it off my list of things to do only in Japan. You can get good views of the building on the Osaka Kanjo-sen, or circular line between Osaka and Fukushima Station. When you think about it, the shortest route from A to B is a straight line. Never mind that this one curves a little. I was thinking there are I'm just there saying, more highways should go through more buildings. I mean, it's like, in Japan, it's like, it full of a lot of, I mean, buildings. It's like, yeah, they have especially very in a big small city like space. Osaka. Yeah, they have very <clears> small <throat> space. It's like all its uh, buildings. Yeah, so they have to... Maximize it. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Go through buildings. Yeah. <laughs> because it's just simply cooler that way. If you're in Osaka, take a look around and see if you can find the crazy building with a highway going through it and... See you next time. The right side of the car. I don't know. I mean, yeah. you know, the wheel. Ah, that, okay, that, okay, that okay. Wheel, it's look uh, probably yeah. I think I it, is. It, it wasn't this car, but I, I don't. I'm not sure. I have noticed. And then the wait. Oh, can see. So here, yeah. the other side. Yeah. So it's probably different in Japan. I don't know. Yeah. Well, maybe it's just this car. If it's yeah. a lo Lotus, maybe it's yeah. from. Great Britain. Yeah. I don't know. Yeah. But anyways, that was also interesting. Yes. <laughs> yes. Yeah. So once again, guys, uh, thank you for watching our reaction video. This is a, yeah, interesting video from Japan. Another interesting and amazing architecture that is only found in Japan. Yeah. So once again, yeah. guys, you can always subscribe to our channel if you're new to our channel. And don't forget to give us a thumbs up. Bye bye. Sayonara. <laughs>